Welcome back to my channel. Um, currently it is called Rice Bear. Normally I'll be doing like a purse review or something fashionable. Um, however, today we're going to be doing a craft project. This is my second um, shoe project. However, this is my first um, shoe transformation painting a character on a shoe project. And today, um, topic will be painting a Pokemon. And the first uh, for the Pokemon that I'm going to be choosing to paint will be um, a Pichu. So it's a yellow looking Pokemon that's similar to a Pikachu. Um, but the reason I choose um, Pichu is because for me, I feel like it's the easiest character um, for me to paint. But for uh, you guys who are artists out there who knows how to paint as well, I think Jigglypuff is also like one of the easier characters to paint. But anyway, so um, to, for today's project, we're going to need a white pair of shoes. Um, wait, like this. Um, any, any kind of white shoe will be fine. Um, but for this project, I'm using Converse. And um, for the result, it should look like this. See the picture right here? Alright guys, so let's get started. So for the first step, I used yellow paint and poured it directly into the canvas of the shoe and then used a brush and just thinly spread it out inside of the images. I found that this is the, sorry, I meant image. I found that this is an easier way to um, paint because you can control the amount and it's also faster, but if you don't have paint already um, inside a small squeeze bottle, then you just pour out some onto a small plate and then also, you know, paint inside the image. So guys, this is my first um, shoe painting project. Um, so I just have like a little problem adjusting the camera onto uh, the picture of their shoe. So hopefully the next, well, I'm gonna make the filming for the next project much, much better. I promise you guys that. Um, and for this first project, um, I chose Pichu because I think it's, it's, it's the easiest picture or the, the easiest um, Pokemon to paint for me anyways, because um, it's really simple and it doesn't have a lot of color just basically yellow black and white so um, I don't have to go out and buy a lot of paint um, so yeah that's why I choose Pichu but for the next project maybe I'm gonna use um, maybe Bulbasaur or Squirtle and then we're gonna see how it's gonna how the shoe gonna turn out so I'm gonna be adding or layering more and more Pichu onto this So after I have finished um, outlining Pichu with black paint, I colored in the Pichu's cheek. I thought that um, outlining the shape of the Pichu with black paint is a really good way to make the image stand out because you know if I don't outline it, it will just have like a yellow color shape. But then if you stand far away, you wouldn't see that image. So in order for the image to stand out and to make to make it look nicer from far away, especially if you want pictures um, then it will show up a little bit more better and also it makes you know Pichu looks much better in my opinion but in order to complete this step you need to have a really fine brush um, so yeah this is what I did and I use that same thin brush to draw its eyes its mouth and that little black triangle color that it has After I've washed my brush from um, the black paint, I then use the white paint to make its eyes um, stand out. But actually because the picture of the actual Pichu, its eyes has like oh, this white circles in it. So I'm just making it, you know, correctly to the picture. And I think it also helps the eyes to be more lively as well. Yeah, so I think that if you own like or have a really fine or thin brush it's really helpful to make outlines and so on all right guys we're almost finished with the pichu image here on the shoes and i think i did a really good job since this is my first uh, painting project and i think this would be a really good uh, gifts for anyone who have kids because I know everyone loves Pokemon At least for my generation, but anyways, so I hope to see you guys again next time and I'll be painting more Pokemon characters Bye guys to finish with the project and this is my first time uh, Painting Pichu, but I thought the project turned out to be really good looking It really looked like the character Pichu. So for the next week or so I'm gonna be sporting this new one-of-a-kind uh, shoe that I have 
but just follow me guys on the next project because I'm going to be painting more Pokemon characters. So bye guys.